Hi everyone, so I'm in Dubai right now. I came here to attend two IT events. One is Smitel and another one is Jitex. I have about a couple of hours before I leave for the airport. I'm going back to India today. I'm very excited and also excited to be going home next week for Diwali. But uh, before I leave for the airport, I thought I'll make a quick video on something which is so relevant and so important uh, for everyone who's working in a corporate not only in corporate in fact any job and that is job satisfaction <laughs> to start with job satisfaction is a myth yes you can love your job but you know getting um, the ultimate satisfaction from your job i feel is not possible because who on earth wants to sit in front of a laptop and work on presentations and excel sheets and tell themselves that this is the most wonderful thing they can do. No, if I have a choice, I would want to travel all my life, 365 days of the year. So you have to get this thing out of your mind that, you know, there is a thing called job satisfaction. You also have to remember that your job will not always fulfill you, but there are things you can do that will make you last longer in any organization or any job. Number one, you have to figure out that you are in the right kind of a job or the right kind of organization. So that is something that you have to figure out. I'm not saying you always have a choice. I know that a lot of people don't have a choice, maybe due to geographical restrictions or, you know, uh, maybe because they are getting a better pay somewhere else. So I know these things, these factors come into place, but um, there are certain things I have been doing for many years that make me look forward to go to work, be it aviation or IT. I make sure that I do those things to uh, fill that void that a job can't. So number one, I am a reader and I'm always reading at least two to three books. It helps me improve my communication and also uh, helps me improve my perspective and makes me, uh, I feel it makes me a better person because then I'm able to see things from other person's point of view. I don't read fiction. I only read self-help books because uh, I don't know, maybe that is my area of interest. So self-help books, is something that you know I've been reading since my school days and uh, yeah that is something that you know I can't do without <laughs> number two I love dancing you must have seen on my Instagram stories and uh, even uh, on this trip I was doing dance on Chalia song in front of Burj Khalifa and dancing is something that you know uh, it lifts up my spirits and uh, also I feel it keeps me fit Number three, I like to work out. Not every day, I don't want to lie. It's very difficult to keep up, but I've tried to find a balance there. I try and work out at least three times a week. And I also feel that, you know, when you work out, you stay fit. You look forward to wearing your nicest clothes and stepping out of the house. So working out is something that has always been a part of my life for a very long time. Number four, I love traveling. I feel I somehow manifest it in my life. I've been traveling since the age of 20. And uh, traveling is something that, you know, I always look forward to. And uh, my favorite place is San Francisco. <laughs> so yeah, so traveling, I feel, is something that uh, changes you as a person. And you know, there is a... Uh, term called inner engineering i feel traveling has done that to me because when i travel i meet people i talk to people i also understand how the world works so because i come from a very uh, conservative middle class family not conservative but a very simple middle class family so traveling is something that has uh, given me a better perspective towards life and it has also made me more confident because i feel traveling has enabled me to hold conversations with people no matter where I am. Number five, it is very important to find your sweet spot at your workplace. It could be something very small. Like I don't have a cabin at my workplace, but I have kept, uh, I, not kept, but I have kind of uh, 
made my own space like i have my own pen holder there's a small space where i keep my bag um there is a space where i keep this phone holder so that you know whenever i'm bored i take my pictures and i can record my three things reels or uh, do my instagram live number 6 i find time to call my family during the day it breaks the monotony at work and uh, it also helps you stay connected especially for people who are staying away from home it helps you to stay connected with your family next point i forgot the point number but uh, having a decent relationship with people at work is very important it will help you look forward to work and uh, it will also help you make your work easier because if you have decent relationship with your colleagues then whenever you are facing a difficulty or you don't understand something you can go to them and you know ask so that is also another thing like i have a team of about uh, 20 to 25 people and uh, i love interacting with them and i'm not saying it's a family but uh, your colleagues should make you feel good about yourself i don't believe in competition to be very honest and i also feel that you know uh since you spend so much time at your workplace it's very important that um your relationship with people at work is decent enough for you to get through the day point number 8 or 9 i don't know but uh, another thing which is very important is that uh, you must upgrade yourself at work you must upgrade yourself at what you are doing I come from aviation as most of you might have uh, known through my LinkedIn and Instagram. I knew nothing about IT, but I just trusted the universe blindly and stepped into it. If I had not taken interest in IT as a subject matter, then probably I would have found it either very boring or difficult, but uh, I always kept studying about different things like sd wan what is networking what is the data center and while you are upgrading yourself in the subject matter upgrade yourself internally like i took up this coaching course and uh, to be honest i didn't take it up to become a coach i took it up because i wanted to understand myself more and indulge in self awareness so i'm i've always been someone who has believed in uh, you know um, becoming more self aware because it not only helps you understand your life better but also helps you to sustain so upgrading yourself in terms of your job and internally as a human is very important so i do those small investments in myself every now and then and i also feel that it makes me feel like i am a new person every two months before i end this video i want to say that uh, change is the only constant and if you stay still in where you are eventually you are going to get bored so you have to find your own sweet spot you have to find what keeps you going in life and make that your focus so i hope you like this video if anything resonated with you you want to add anything in this video please mention in the comment section if you have any blog ideas please let me know because as i said in my last video i'm not getting time to sit down and write blog topics so i'll be very grateful if you can help me with that and uh, i have to leave now as i said i'm going back to india i will uh, look forward to making more vlogs more <laughs> consistently and thank you so much everyone for your love and support thank you